you're scrolling through your favorite social media feed, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whichever one it is, you see a headline that says, seven women murdered. Locals claim God has sent a creature to punish town for its sins. Would you click on it? I know I would. What up nerds? My name is Leslie. Welcome to the Nerdy Narrative. Today I'm going to be sharing with you about the latest adventure that happened between these fingertips and that is about the book I read called In the Hills Above the Grist Mill by Calvin Ellis. This book did not read like a debut. I was so disappointed that there was not anything else I could read by Calvin Ellis. I wasn't even done with the book when I was looking guys. I was about 8% of the way in and I stopped to go look to see if there were any other books in this series because I noticed in parentheses next to the title, it said Paisley Mott Mystery Number One. Boy howdy was I sad to find out that this was the first one and the only one out so far. So I then proceeded to stalk, I mean, follow the author on social media and we got into a conversation about it and I was telling him how much I was enjoying this one and was there a second one on the horizon? And there is. He is currently working on the second one in the series, which he says is going to be a much, much darker tale, which guys, we love dark tales, don't we? So let's talk more about In the Hills Above Grist Mill. I was taken in immediately by the character of Paisley Mott. So the story begins, it's a dream that Paisley is having about the murder of her mother. It doesn't sound like it's solved, and we don't get much more than that, but it was so intriguing. And I love when a book starts out with a little taste of terror in that first chapter. It just really helps sink its claws into me and just pulls me in. The next thing about Paisley that drew me into her is she is a YouTuber. She has a show called Paranormal or Not with Paisley Mott. That is absolutely the most cutest channel name in the world. I just loved it. Of course, it's paranormal. I was excited about that. And what is going on with this story? So there's a preacher named Hollis Grimm that is the pastor of a church deep in the Great Smoky Mountains in a town called Greywater Ridge in Kentucky. Reverend Grimm contacts Paisley and tells her that seven women have been murdered there. It's unsolved and he thinks it is Sasquatch not Bigfoot. Do not call this thing Bigfoot to Reverend Graham. So the idea is the preacher wants Paisley to come out and just help cover the story and get the story out onto the internet. Paisley doesn't think too much into that. All she's thinking is if this is Bigfoot or a Sasquatch and she could be the first one to capture coverage, that is just going to jumpstart her career because this is still a new thing with her YouTube channel. She used to work at a bookstore, but after her mother was murdered, she quit that and just went with her YouTube channel full time. She has had some measure of success with it, but this could really get her set. That's where our story begins. We've got a serial killer on our hands. We're in this remote town in the Great Smoky Mountains. The town does not like outsiders at all, yet they're coming in because they're hearing these stirrings of a story about there being a Sasquatch. Turns out Reverend Graham's church is founded on this whole creature. They believe this creature was sent by God to punish the town for its sins. And this isn't the first time this has happened. Turns out this town has a history of things happening to bad people. That is the general premise of the story. We follow Paisley as she meets the different people of the town, as she is going about investigating herself, how the story continues to unfold with other murders. The characters are so charismatic. I really loved Calvin Ellis's character work. I love all the pop culture references he put in. This guy is definitely a fan of Stephen King and so am I. So that just really spoke to my heart. Had me smiling every time I came across a reference. It's just written so well. It's written in such a way that you're just gonna keep flipping those pages. Just keep going. I read it in two sittings. I would have loved to have read it in one if I could have, but I started it too late in the day. 
cannot wait to read more about Calvin Ellis. This book, if you are interested and you are a Kindle Unlimited subscriber, it is on Kindle Unlimited. There's also an audiobook you can get for it on Audible. I did not notice that until after I'd already read it. My friend Sharon, who I'm buddy reading it with, she noticed that and I was so disappointed that I missed out on the audiobook. But that's okay because I really love to do rereads on audiobooks. I will absolutely be rereading this book. I feel that there were clues sprinkled in this one that's going to tie in with Paisley's personal story uh, regarding the murder of her mother and I'm going to want to go back and revisit those. I am very much looking forward to seeing how this continues to unfold in future books. In my opinion, Calvin Ellis came out swinging with this debut novel. On Goodreads, it has 118 ratings so far with an average of 4.38 stars. I highly recommend this one, especially if you're a fan of Stephen King or Supernatural. You guys, you're going to want to pick this one up. Guys, I would love it if you would go check this book out. Come talk to me if you read it or as you're reading it. I would love to talk about it with you. It's a lot of fun. Well, or should I say, talk to me after you read it because you're not going to want to put the book down to have a conversation with somebody as you go. Guys, that is going to do it for my thoughts and opinions reading In the Hills Above the Grist Mill by Calvin Ellis. It's a fantastic book to start off 2022 with. It just really has set the mood for this is how my year is going to be. That's how I'm going to choose to look at it. What do you think? Do you think this sounds like one you might be interested in? Does it speak to the mystery lover in you or perhaps the thriller or maybe even like me, you love reading about serial killers? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.